uh, good afternoon everyone. Actually, my affiliation uh, more appropriate would be the coordinator of the industry concept point, uh, medical technologies and uh, health. But we are located at Łukasiewicz Network in the Polish uh, Center for Technology and uh, for, for Polish Center for Technology Development. And um, this is not my presentation. <laughs> I didn't start the watch, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm clicking, but it doesn't work. No. You have it right now. Is it this? Yes. Uh, can we go back? Yes. Oh. So, <laughs> this is the presentation, and today I'm going to tell you about the Horizon Europe. Probably for most of the researchers, uh, you know what it is, but I can put the light on how Industry Contact Point can help you with benefiting from this framework. And as you know, Horizon Europe uh, provides the funding opportunities for the best-in-class research and innovation. And when we put it in the context of impact, drivers, or technical uh, readiness level, it can be uh, composed into three pillars. First is science, um, and basically it did not change comparing to Horizon 2020. The second pillar is the global challenges and EU industrial competitiveness, and here it's Basically, I don't know how to point it. Well, no, it doesn't work. Uh, it's composed. It is composed of six clusters uh, with the cross-sectoral approach. For the industry contact point, from our point of view, the cluster health is of our interest, and um, there are also two novelties. I would say one are five, five missions out of which the mission cancer is of the scope of the industrial contact point and there is the novelty in the approach of the European partnerships and for the Horizon Europe I think the European Commission put more emphasis on the synergies and uh, with other uh, work program uh, activities and for the uh, technicality there is also the yeah the third pillar this is what was already discussed today, the innovative Europe, and I think that Marcin Ciszewski will also say at the panel in the afternoon more details about these uh, activities, because here we have European Innovation Council that covers the gap between the uh, research and innovation, and also there is the European Innovation Ecosystem that actually um, should work on the improvement on the environment where the uh, innovation can flourish via European Institute of Innovation and Technology and its knowledge and innovation communities. There are also two other activities that should flourish the grant for the cross-country collaboration on the uh, research, uh, European research uh, area. And um, when you can see there are a lot of opportunities for the all players, SMEs, big companies and uh, researchers, but when you look at the statistic, basically Poland is placed on the 15th place of the total contribution of EU to the granted projects. And when we take into consideration number of the scientists and citizens in Poland, that give us 28 and 29, the uh, 27th and 28th place among all EU countries. So, how we can help? Together with the national contact point and horizontal contact points, we try to uh, complement the support ecosystem for Polish beneficiaries to help them to find the proper consortia and to be a part of this very challenging and innovative adventure. Our role would be um, basically searching for the proper partners with the specific 
um, competences required by the proper calls within the European and Polish network, which means that we do not help only Polish entities, but we are also welcome. Uh, we welcome all um, also. Um, uh, international uh, partners that are looking for the competences within Polish networks. We also uh, help Polish entities with individual consultancies on the specific calls. We represent them in the matchmaking, networking or brokerage events. We organize training and workshops and of course we promote together with the national contact points and horizontal po po contact points the initiatives of European Commission with the focus on the health. So let's do together the first step. And as you know, the slide, uh, maybe for some of you, they know that there's this mission um, cancer that uh, the calls have been also were launched yesterday. And there are two for research and innovation, which I think that now it's the deadline for the submission of the proposal is the 7th of September. So I think it's a good time to find and try to find the good collaboration that might result in the challenging and really innovative uh, proposals. And for the Polish uh, participants, uh, if you would like to uh, get more information, you have still time to register for the info days that are organized by the National Contact Point on the 30th of May. Or you can simply drop me a mail and stay tuned via Poly uh, port website where we provide all the information and upcoming events and calls. So thank you very much, and now welcome to the questions. Thank you, thank you. So the time is now, and let's do it together. So do you have any questions to industry contact point in terms of medical science? How can we start to cooperate? How can we meet? Do you have any questions now? Hey there. Hey, Zvojtěh Nosek, Unique Pivo, Czech Republic. Uh, I was just wondering, I was recently searching for a partner in Poland in some specific field, personalized medicine. And do you have some kind of database, or if I contact you, how do you look for the partners? Or is there a way I can look myself? For the time being, there is no possibility that you look yourself, at least from the industry contact point. So there is no database available for that it's more fragmented. But this is also our goal to integrate all the databases available that are at the universities, because some of the universities already have that on their websites. So that would be our and this our goal to, to make the integrated. So how does it work? If Wojciech will call you and ask you. Then I, I search for the partners within our contact and our network. So the best way is to call you maybe. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. And the second question. Uh, hello, my name is Grzegorz Pragis. I am a CSO of uh, Cryptonomics uh, and I have a question. Uh, we are much more focused in uh, uh, using AI in uh, uh, immunology de development of drugs. Like we focus right now on vaccines. And I have a question. Do you have in the network uh, people connected to Compuciano Oncology and people which we would collaborate with? Uh, For the oncology now? Uh, Compuciano Oncology, yeah. Computational on Oncology. I have some uh, partners from Romania and from... Uh, I need to check from other countries that we just discussed recently. And for the vaccines, then we can also help a lot. Okay, so... So, so if vaccines is also of, on your focus, then yeah, yeah, I yeah. think it's a good... Vaccines story. are much more in our focus than our then, oncology, okay. <laughs> this is the good address to the okay, Thanks. Okay, that was interesting, because both questions were about networking, not about helping just to write the, the proposal. So this... Because I think that... And I'm really happy that I'm after Wood because Medical uh, University of Wood, I think that they are a very good example how to get the profit and benefit from the European um, uh, fundings. I think that there are representatives of, I don't know if I can show them. Yes, they, I can. Second, so you can always vision, contact them opinion. and ask them how you can do it. And I think that they will share their knowledge and also These guys are the sitting there, so they will they are successful for free. And I think, <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Okay.